Hey Wargamers, Josh here with Wargames Delivered, and today we are going to be continuing our series on super cheap wargaming terrain. So sit back and enjoy the ride. So we're going to start off with a couple of different sizes of cardboard here. This cardboard piece that I'm using is just for measuring. We wanted it to be roughly the height of a miniature. I wanted the miniatures to be able to take cover on it. So I did measure it using a miniature and we are going to go ahead and cut out a couple of rough sizes of this. And then we're going to switch over to a thinner piece of cardboard. And we're going to once again measure it so that it is as wide as it is tall for stability, because these are going to have a little bit of weight to them that we're going to add on in the later sections so that they're not super easy to tip over. So now we're going to focus on the assembly. I laid down some glue and a little bit of tape and we're going to go ahead and just stack that thicker piece of cardboard on top of the thin one. I did tape up both of the bottom seams for a little bit of additional reinforcement and then I went ahead and I coated the entire surface in tacky glue to make it water resistant because in the next step we are going to be adding in some toppers and I wanted to make sure that there was no warping or shrinkage that could occur to it. So for this next step, I chose to use uh, dry deck spackling. It starts off pink and then ends its life white. I chose this product because it was what I had on hand, uh, but you can go ahead and use Cellu-Clay or Sculpt-A-Mold. Any, any spackling will work. And then I gave this entire thing a coat of this spackling. I was not careful about the application. I wanted just to get a rough covering across everything, the entirety of this stone wall. Now, while that spackling was still wet, I took a bamboo skewer, but you can use a toothpick, a carving tool, it doesn't really matter. And I traced in some very, very rough outlines of rocks to give it the appearance of being an actual stone wall. I was not careful. I didn't measure any of this out. I didn't plan anything. I just put lines wherever I felt like it to make it look like stone. Once you're done with the first side, you can go ahead and flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. You don't have, like I said, you don't have to be super careful. You don't have to be super specific. Uh, this isn't gonna be a centerpiece. It's just gonna be there to take up the space of a wall. Then I primed everything with Army Painter's matte black air primer. The first of our three colors is going to be from the original war paint line. It's going to be dark stone, and this is going to be our heaviest dry brush. Now you are going to knock a bunch of things loose if you did it the same way that I did, but that is okay. It'll all get covered up in the next step. So go ahead and dry brush everything with this heavy, heavy layer of dark stone. Moving on to our next dry brush layer, I switched my brush here to something really soft so that it wouldn't bend in. And we're gonna hit everything with a slightly less heavy, but still pretty heavy dry brushing of skeleton bone, also of the original war paint line. Then we're gonna come in with our 
final layer. This is gonna be the lightest dry brush. So I switched over to a fan brush so that I could really keep it on top and only hit those raised edges. And that is going to be white. Then we're going to go ahead and throw some texture paste. Uh, I chose texture paste here because I actually just used all of my tacky glue and my basing glue while sealing it. I didn't realize that I had done that. Um, I would normally have just used a normal glue for this uh, instead of using my beautiful texture paste to completely cover it up. The absolute final step is just covering that texture paste in a terrain mix. This is one that I have pre-mixed up that I used for the majority of the bases of my US Airborne Army. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you are enjoying this series of super cheap wargaming terrain videos and how to turn cardboard into wargaming terrain. Until next time, I'm Josh and this is Wargames Delivered. Bye.